Good morning and welcome to Holy Saviour Church and this Wednesday's Reflection. While it is true that God is a hidden presence, we have only to let nature speak to us about the God who is everywhere. That's a quotation from Henry Nouwen in his book Discernment. Beyond the books and people, nature also points to God and offers signs and wonders indicating God's presence and will. The book of nature, which cannot be reduced to words, reveals characteristics of God and God's activities. In the darkness of a clear, calm night, As you look up to the sky, there, hanging suspended in space, it is possible to see stars twinkling for all their worth, and planets spinning in a circle, moving round the heavens in their time. Who was it that moulded and made them, and flung them to the further reaches beyond mankind's reach and knowledge. They give us warmth and growth, and give us light in the darkness, and they influence our lives. What about the seas, rushing to the shore, full of all sorts of creatures, with fish for us to eat? The land, with animals, and all kinds of vegetables and flowers. Can you smell the scent of a rose, advertising to the bees a delicious nectar? All these things speak of a creator, who wanted to reach out and make a world that was perfection, a world to last forever, not just to a time when it had outgrown its use. The world around us creates that feeling of closeness to one who made us, and an emotion that connects to the one who loves us so much it is beyond our understanding. A long time ago, A man and his daughter were walking through a wood collecting twigs, perhaps to make into a broom, or for a fancy dress party maybe. And as they were gathering, the little girl suddenly said, Daddy, did God make that little flower for me? And the man was so taken aback for a second or two, and then he felt the emotion and the almost surreal closeness to something outside himself that spoke of God being there within the wood because it was a place created by God as an act of love. And the man replied very clearly to his daughter, Yes, God made it just for you. Now you might want to say that this is just sentimental rubbish, and yet it brings home to me how important the smallest creature is. It lives alongside us all as part of creation, not created by us, but created by God. As the song says, I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me and you. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see sky of blue, clouds of white, bright blessed day dark, sacred night. 
and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. There was a time when our climate was perfect for us to live in, and whichever way we look at it, we have not managed it well. And we need to try to change the way we have created a climate that is changing the world. A world that was made perfectly for us and is now suffering. As you walk to the shops, the school or to see a friend, notice the grass by the side of the road the hedgerows and trees, the birds and the creatures that abound and remember all this was freely given for us to look after. I leave these thoughts with you for the next time you walk through nature, through the nature of every day, as you continue along your way. Thank you for listening this morning 